Uh, I need all the wins. Yeah. Ain't no L's, I gotta get a no call and quit. Yeah. Gotta keep on moving no matter how hard it gets. Yeah. Better move out the way. Hi everyone, welcome on this new tutorial on how to use the paper of transition on both Premiere and After Effects. So, once you download the pack, you can see that we have one After Effects file and two folders, including the motion graphics templates and all the assets. Let's jump into Premiere on how to install them. So, once you are on Premiere, you can simply go to the Essential Graphics, go to Manage Additional Folders. Once you've done that, you click on add and you can select the motion graphics template folders. Click select folder. I've already done this one, so I'm going to click on cancel and OK. So now you have all the transition and you can simply play with one. So I'm going to click on this one, number seven. I'm going to simply drag into my timeline. And here we can see that's working, but we stock footage inside. Yeah, this one is pretty dope actually. We can see here that we have three footage. So I'm going to simply go into the first one and I'm going to add a frame hold here, nest it. I'm going to call this one frame hold number one, click OK. So for the second one, we're going to maybe add a frame hold over here, nest it, frame hold number two, click OK. We can delete the beginning of the shot here. And we can go into my third footage. So before uh, adding a frame hold, I'm just going to cut it and duplicate it. I'm going to add frame hold, nest it, and delete the beginning of the shot. So now we have here the beginning of the shot, three frames hold, and the end of the shot. So let's go into my transition. We can see here that we have the stock footage inside. I'm going to simply drag the frame hole number one here, frame hole number two here, and the number three here. Once we've done that, we can replace the frame hole by all transition, delete them, and we have all transition. So once we've done that, we can see that we have a bunch of settings. We can adjust the size, the position. So if I want to get like maybe a more specific sh spot of the shots. And we can even adjust the grunge effects. Maybe I want this one to have a little bit more brightness. So I'm going to simply decrease the grunge. For this one, I'm going to add some more. And for the last one, yeah, this one is pretty dope. So I'll go around here maybe. So now that we have our transition, I like maybe to smooth a little bit. So we'll go into the assets folders, go to film burns, drag it here. And maybe we can select this one, cut it, put it here. I will go into my blend mode and put screen. I'm going to take another one. Here. Go into my blend mode and put screen again. And now we have our dope transition. Pretty nice, right? Okay. Now it's missing the sounds effects. So let's go to my assets folder, SFX, drag it here, and we have seven dope SFX for these transitions. So let's see what we can use. Actually, we can use them for all the transitions. There is no specific sounds effects for uh, any transition. 
So maybe use this one. Seems pretty nice. And now we have all transition with the sound effects. Ready now, nice, right? So guys, that's it for this tutorial. Hope you're gonna enjoy this dope pack and see you on the next one.